Hey guys, Michelle here from Mighty Dubia Theaters. I'm excited to get this video started. We're going to be talking about, hey, what is all involved with our starter Dubia Colony set? So I'm going to explain all that to you in a minute. Um, but I want to give you guys a chance to understand what our channel is about. We are a small family owned business um, selling Dubia. And we also like to upload, we have three pets. We have Tater Tot, who is our, I think he's about seven months old, uh, bearded dragon. We have Moose, who is our German short hair pointer. And we have our Calico Kitty. So if you guys like animals of all types, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can get all of our fun family type of videos and our shorts and you can also follow us over on Instagram. I also want to let you know that later on this month we're planning on going to the reptile show and we're really excited about that. We have one coming here in Houston, Texas and so I plan on making a lot of videos on all the really cool reptiles and amphibians and whatever else they have there and just giving you guys a look around so make sure that you hit not only subscribe but you hit that bell button all bell notifications so you can see whenever we upload a video but let's get started for today okay today we're getting ready our dubia roach colony for a customer and we're just so grateful for all of our customers but I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek what happens is with our bends <clears throat> we have quite a few bends and we have a breeder bend and that's just you know breeders only making babies we have when the babies are starting to come and grow we have one that's just for babies just want to show you all that here real quick um, so we put these babies in this bin not too long ago. We have tons and tons of them. I would say they're probably like a week or two. Some of them are a little bit older, but we put them in here and when they get about this size, um, like that small little juvenile size, uh, then I transfer them from this bin to our medium large bins. So I was just cleaning out one of these as our medium large bins and we had another customer get some mediums, 50 mediums. So I'm gonna start moving the bigger ones that are in this bin that are outgrowing this newborn small stage because there's some mediums in here and I'm gonna transfer them into the medium large bin. Then what I do is these, as you can tell, some of these are getting quite big and you know they're getting ready to start showing us whether they're male or females sorry if you can't see for the lighting there you go but yeah you know you can tell that you can t start telling when they're a little bit older kind of what they're going to be and just kind of by the shape of their body is how I can kind of tell the longer, skinnier ones usually turn into males. And then you can kind of tell some of them, those females have little tiny wings on the top of them that start forming and they get real shiny. So if I start seeing some of these start becoming male or female, show me what they are truly, then I'll leave some of them in here and just let them start mating. But if there's a whole bunch of them that do that at the same time, I take them out and I put them in another breeding colony because <clears throat> I like to just have easy access that when you guys want mediums or large or extra large, I could just come scoop them up from some of these bins. But so back to this bin. So I got here um, a colony. So there's a hundred that come in a colony. Um, this little one right here is a She's a female, so um, in our colonies it comes with a hundred roaches, and as you can tell, um, these are the males right here with the wings, and the shiny little pretty ones. I say they're prettier than the than the males, but with ours, it, you get 
Now, let me not tell you wrong. You get 15 adults. So that would be um, 12 of these really pretty females that are shiny. And you get three of the big boy males. And that's because that ratio, you don't really want to do more more males for that it's kind of one male for every four is really what we like to do females because more males than that you guys they're going to be fighting for these females right here they want to they want to have rendezvous with them and they fight each other and it's brutal they'll they'll tear off each other's wings and and you know bite them off and they look like they've been in a real battle so yeah so this is a hundred right here and we mix it with smalls mediums, newborns. There's even newborns in here. You see in newborns. Um, that makes a really healthy colony when you have all different sizes that you're starting with. And some of these larger ones, like right here, are going to start becoming, showing their true color to their new owners. And they're going to have a lot more male and females developing, and they're going to be able to start breeding their own, own uh, roaches for their own pets for their awesome probably bearded dragons or amphibians or all kinds of lizards and reptiles and insectivores so yeah i just want to show you so what we do after this is we let them kind of compile on here and we'll put them in a separate container and get it all ready for you to go ship to get it shipped out to you guys Okay, guys, if you want a starter kit, go ahead to www.MightyDubiaFeeders.com and you can see the, uh, the starter kits on there. And, um, you know, if we have it available, it'll be wherever you can check it out. If it says out of stock, then go ahead and send us, sign up for our subscription where you get an email. But go ahead and email us directly and ask us, hey, how much longer will it be? Because sometimes it's like a week or two or, or less. It's very fast. So just let us know that you're interested and we will work the best we can with you guys. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.